EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for August 20th, 2024. It is Tuesday, and the Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. We are deep into summer now, and outdoor activities and parties are in full swing. Let Mark Damiani Painting spruce up your home to show off to friends and family when they come over. You'd be surprised what a new paint color can do to a home, whether you have wood siding, vinyl siding, or stucco. They can paint all of them to any color that you choose. And don't forget about those front doors, garage doors, and shutters either. Let them help you pick the latest modern colors and transform your home into a new haven to hang out this summer. They are family-owned and operated with over 40 years in business, so you can't go wrong with their exceptional attention to detail and great customer service. Servicing the Southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester, Call them now to schedule a free estimate at the phone number above me, 484-571-9233. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast. So yesterday we had a secondary front move through, not a lot of fanfare with that, just a couple showers, uh, maybe a rumble of thunder here and there, but that was about it. Uh, we do have uh, this low pressure that was kind of... Uh, hanging around all weekend. It was over the Eastern Great Lakes and just finally is, is off the coast now leaving the United States today. Uh, here's the cold front associated with it uh, heading all the way down in the deep south and we have cooler air coming in. Cooler and refreshing air coming in for the next several days. You see above me temperature spread is 68 to 74 today which is delightful and you're going to have some lows overnight tonight that are getting in the 40s in some places uh, especially when you get across the Poconos and the higher elevations. But uh, we in the lower 50s elsewhere. So it's going to be uh, a big change from what we've had here over the past several months. This is actually comparable to early October highs. Okay, if you look at the average highs of, uh, and lows across the region for October 1st, it's pretty close to that today. Pretty close. You're getting a little foretaste of that. Unfortunately, this is only a three-day thing. I think it's going to be lower humidity and uh, and nice temperatures straight through about Thursday. Even though we're going to progressively come up in temperatures here over the next couple of days, you see 68 to 74 today, 70 to 75 on uh, on Wednesday and then on Thursday we'll be in the uh, mid to upper 70s so it's not terrible but still lower humidity straight through Thursday and here's what we looked like in humidity yesterday everybody was still complaining oh it's so humid out well you had dew points here in the upper 60s near 70 yesterday watch as I move this forward for today that's had this just like a whoosh just it's just ushered everything out of here and this is the uh, dew points we're expecting at the same time uh, the next day we're looking at lower 50s some areas even upper 40s for dew points in the uh, northern tier so it is going to be refreshing uh, as far as the dew points are concerned and that's going to be straight through at least thursday i don't think friday is going to be bad with the humidity either it's just going to start coming up gradually at that point and so are temperatures and we are going to have this trough settling in uh, here's that trough that's settling in the northeast. You see this big dip. Uh, big high is uh, sitting out here in the southwestern U.S. near the Four Corners region. But you have this big dip in the jet stream. And there's your trough. And this is bringing the cooler temperatures. This is a, an anomalous trough. Not normally something you'd see at this point in August. But uh, we'll take it, right? Uh, as we move this forward throughout the week, you are going to see some changes, though. Uh, here is the straight through Thursday. The trough is still influencing the region. Then we get into a more of a zonal flow here on Friday temporarily. And then for the weekend, over the weekend, we have this ridging starting to build in. And especially for next week, we're really going to have an influence of that uh, ridging again as this becomes more elongated and starts to uh, bring some warmer temperatures in the region. And that's going to be late weekends th through much of next week, through the work week. I think it's going to be very warm again. So if you're missing summer, if this isn't really your thing, with the uh, lower temperatures and the lower humidity. Uh, I can't imagine anybody doesn't like humidity, but there are, that, that people actually like humidity, I should say. Uh, but uh, if your lower temperatures for this time of year are not your thing, you will return to summer-like temperatures going forward. Your pools are going to take a beating, though, uh, as far as these temperatures are concerned. Water temperatures are going to drop pretty quickly. But we have no precipitation for this entire period going straight through the entire weekend. So we're going to make up for, uh, you know, having a... a you know, gloomy weekend this past weekend. Uh, most of these weekends of summer, I know a lot of people complain all the time about, you know, oh, here we go on the weekends again. Uh, we really haven't had a lot of weekends that had that problem. Uh, I know we had last weekend we did, but uh, we're back to the mostly sunny stuff. Our, over the weekend will be a mixture of clouds and sun and temperatures again increasing back into the 80s, 
uh, probably already on Friday, but then we'll get into the lower to middle 80s as we get to Saturday and Sunday. I think next week you're going to be in the upper 80s, maybe some places hitting the 90s already by Monday, especially down here by the Philadelphia Metro and near uh, the Newark area, the areas that normally get warmer than, uh, than the rest of us because they're in the urban heat island effect down there in both of those areas. Uh, so we will have uh, warmer temperatures next week, and it'll be back to summery stuff, slightly above average. We're going to go from below average for the next couple of days, then you'll be just kind of slightly below and then near average and then it goes near to slightly above and slightly above by the time we get to next week so it's going to be progressively warmer through that entire period but we're looking at no precipitation get out and enjoy it today uh even if it's not your thing i mean it's still room temperature open the windows let the air uh circulate through your house turn the air conditioner off and just enjoy it i'm epa wa meteorologist bobby marcherstadt as your outlook for august 20th 2024 have a great tuesday